Today I'm going to explain to you stem files and how they work and how you can make them in render so that you can share your work to for collaboration, for mixing, or for mastering. <clears throat> so let's say you've made a song and you want to send it to someone. It's not as simple as sending them the RPP, the Reaper project uh, file, because a Reaper project file contains no sound, no plugins, and the person on the other end might not even use Reaper, right? So you might think, oh, maybe I can just zip up the whole Reaper project with all the sounds and uh, everything that's associated with the Reaper project. In that way, you would have sound, but you still wouldn't have any plugins, and it still doesn't help someone who's not a Reaper user. And that brings us to stem files, okay? Stem files are all the audio that your project has, and I'm going to show you how to make them today and how they work, and then I'm going to show you how to zip them up, send them to someone, and then how to export them or import them back into a Reaper file, okay? So, just to show you an example, somebody sends me a Reaper file and I get a bunch of warnings, right? Because I don't have these plugins. If I open up this Reaper file, I can see all of the MIDI, but if I play it, there's no sound. No sound at all, okay? So, let's go to a Reaper file where I actually have some sound. So, this is a metal song that I'm working on called Greetings from Gaza. Okay, so what we're going to do is first you need to select the files that you want to send uh, to create stem files from. Okay, so we want lead guitar, rhythm guitar, drums, and bass guitar. And you can have as few as one audio track or as many as however many your project has. It doesn't matter. After you've selected them, go to File, Render, and up here the source is not the master mix. Now we want stems, the selected tracks. Okay? For your bounds, you want the entire project if that's what you're working with. There are other options. You can choose those if you need them. But for our purposes, we're just going to choose the entire project. Then you choose a place where you want it to go. So we're going to go here. This is my folder for Greetings from Gaza. As you can see, I actually already have uh, a stem folder. Okay, we would click save. No, let's just cancel. Get out of there. Okay, so stem files, you typically want them to be the highest quality audio. That means whatever the highest quality plugin or whatever you're using, that's the quality that you want all of your stem files to be rendered to. So in my case, even though you can see up here, my audio uh, interface only runs at 44.1K and 24 bits. I'm going to render to 96 uh, kilohertz because I have many plugins that run at 96 or even 192 if I want them to. Okay? Then we want to change this. Uh, sorry, let's uh, skip that for a second. Uh, the output format we're going to want to be WAVE. All right? So WAVE files are going to be very big. They're typically about 10 megabytes uh, per minute. All right? Then we want the highest quality sound that we can get. So we would choose Extreme HQ, okay? When you when you choose this, it's going to take it's going to take a long time to render your project, okay? So uh, we're talking for 4 minutes on an average laptop like mine, it takes about an hour to render out all of these stem tracks, okay? But lucky for you guys, I've already rendered them all out, but you would just click render four files, sit back, Go make a margarita, chill out, whatever. It's going to take a little while. All right, so if we come here to my music production folder where I have my songs, you'll see in my stem folder I actually have, sorry, one second. I actually have, I don't need that. So I have four WAV files. These are the four tracks that I have rendered out, the four stem tracks, okay? If I were to play one of these in FUBAR, of course it would just give me errors. Ah, that's because I've got the thing. Whatever. You understand. You could play each one. You would have a single guitar track, another guitar track, a bass guitar track, and then drum tracks, okay? 
So what you're going to do is you would, if you're running Windows, uh, on Mac I'm not sure how you do this, but it's probably really easy. Um, if you're running Windows, you're just going to click the folder, right click, go down to send to compressed zipped folder. Okay. When you choose this option, it's going to take a little while and it's going to create a zip file. In the zip file, you will have the folder, you will have the four stem tracks. Okay. Now the zip file for these four stem tracks, let's see how big it was. This is 345 megabytes. So you can't attach this to an email or anything. You can use Google Drive, which uh, I recommend if you're uh, going to be collaborating back and forth and you need to send lots of files and everything. You can use WeTransfer, which will let you send up to two gigabytes at a time. Okay, Those are my two recommendations, either Google Drive or WeTransfer. Okay, now let's say you're the person that has received this zip file. Okay, you open it up, you extract everything, you tell it where it's going to go. When you're done, you're going to have this folder. In this folder, you're going to have four stem tracks. What do you do with these four stem tracks? Well, the first thing, you're going to build yourself a new project. Create a new project. And then, this is a good uh, time to point out that you should always know the tempo of the files that you're working on right um, and of course I just closed it let's open it back up but if we were working on greetings from Gaza come on come on come on everything takes forever these days all right so as you can see my tempo here is 200 so in our keep that open. So in our new project file we're going to change the tempo to 200. This is especially important if the files were recorded uh, with a click track or if you are using lots of MIDI files because you, you want to know what the tempo is. It's, it's important. So we open this up and then you can simply drag each one of these into here it's going to ask you separate tracks or single tracks because we we want separate tracks so we want to be able to mix them or or do different things with them we're going to click separate tracks okay building our peaks here and as you can see we now have four tracks all right so i believe this is our drums track so we would just rename them all drums this is the bass guitar, this is the rhythm guitar, and this is the lead guitar. All right, and there you go. You have successfully created stem tracks, exported them, zipped them up, sent them to someone, the person has received them, the person has imported them into their tracks. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment in the YouTube video, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck.